Hello, welcome to another video from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab. In this video we're going to use SolidWorks and we're going to 3D print a bracelet. Some of you might look at this and say, that's not a bracelet, it looks like a hockey puck. Well, with 3D printing you can adjust your settings. So I can take a file like that, that looks like a hockey puck. And this is Cura, and in my expert settings I have this only follow mesh surface. But you can do this in um, in with MakerBot or something like that by just setting the, the roof and the floor thickness to zero and the infill to zero and the shells to one. And what will happen is it will only export the outside edge of your bracelet. And that way it can print a 3D printable bracelet and it's got a little bit of flex to it and you can get it over your hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this and we're going to follow an outline. Here's our outline. We got A, B, C, D, E, these five steps. We're going to start with a pie slice, a V shape. We're going to smart dimension that. We're going to create our design, which then we're going to make a copy of and around in a circle after we extrude it so it really looks like a pie slice. So we're going to go through all those steps right here to end up with this bracelet right here. You can watch my other video about what to do when you need to resize it. So my students are going to need to measure a bracelet first. So you're going to find a bracelet in the room that fits you. You're going to measure it and that bracelet is going to be the bracelet that you're going to base your measurements on and you're going to want to use half of its diameter for your pie slice. So here's the pie slice, the step A just as a V shape. So I'm still drawing, you can see, by just click one, two, three clicks, I, but I'm still drawing straight lines. To stop drawing, I'm gonna press escape on the keyboard, and then I've got my pie slice, my V shape. So the next step is to smart dimension it. So right now, this has no dimensions. This is our first project where the dimensions really matter. Um, we wanna make sure we're in millimeters, because that's how our 3D printer communicates is in millimeters. I'm going to choose Smart Dimension. Smart Dimension is tricky to use. You can watch a video on that too, but I'm going to move straight away from it to get the length of the line, and I'm going to set it. So if I want my bracelet to be 100 millimeters, which is not a great size for a bracelet, I would type 50 here, and it's going to make a 50 millimeter line. If I want this line to also be 50, because it's also a radius, I'm going to type 50 like that. Now I might want to change the angle of how far this is before I design it. So I'm going to click on one line, click on the other, and move like this. If I choose an angle that is a factor of 360, then when I make the copies, I can multiply the copies by the other factor that will multiply by my angle to give me 360 degrees so there's no gaps. If I don't do that, if I'm naive about it and I choose some random angle, I can still make the bracelet, even if I do the math wrong. But you're going to need to make sure there's an overlap so that there's no gaps in the middle. So now I've got this endpoint and this endpoint. And this is basically my little window of where I'm going to put my design. So my design is like the crust of the pie. So I can use any of these tools I'd like. The way the design works is it has to start at this point, And then you can do a design. And it should end at this point. So again, I'm going to hit escape to stop. My design should stay inside the pie slice because when I make copies, it won't run into itself that way. All right, so now I also discovered that if I close this sketch, I can extrude it. But if I just go over to Features menu straight away and I choose Extrude, it knows I want to extrude the sketch that I'm already in, which is pretty convenient. This height right here is the thickness of the bracelet. Again, you can measure. Um, right now it's set to 10 millimeters. I'm going to just use 10 for this. Now I've got that pie slice. So let's go back and let's look at our notes and see. We've got uh, our design, we've extruded, which means basically you take a flat shape and give it a height. Now I'm going to use the circular pattern tool. Now you could use the circular pattern tool in the sketch menu on the sketch, but then you lose your dimensions. So I'm going to use the feature circular pattern tool, which is hidden under linear pattern here, and I'm going to choose circular pattern. I sometimes have a hard time setting this rotation point to be this end point. If you're having trouble with that, select this before you choose circular pattern. Then I'm going to choose the features that I want to rotate, and I'm going to choose this extrusion, and it's going to make a bunch of copies. Now you'll see that I have a gap in between my copies. That's no good. So I'm going to go here to the number of copies, and I'm going to increase it until there is no gap. If there's overlap, overlap is okay. Gap is not okay. So there's a tiny little gap right now, so one more should make it overlap. So that, that if you do the math right, this will line up perfectly. If you do the math wrong, you're going to get this effect. But if you hit the check mark, it's going to fill it in pretty nicely. And there is my 3D printable bracelet, all ready to go. Watch my video on how to resize if you made it the wrong size the first time.